Good afternoon and welcome to Wow Wednesdays with uh, Dr. V. You, as you see, I'm on location at the Youth and Young Adult Conference. And so we want to come to you today with our thank yous, our announcements, and our midweek word, uh, despite being away. And we pray that all of you are well and that God is blessing you right now. First of all, we want to say thank you to all who were in worship on Missionary Sunday. Special thanks to Kathy Harris's family reunion as they shared in great number in worship. And thank you to Dr. Jackson for the message. We want you to continue pray, to pray for Carter members and leaders who are attending the Connectional Youth and Young Adult Conference. Uh, we are praying that God will continue to bless it. It has been amazing uh, for many who are here. Lots of souls have been saved and people who have accepted call to ministry, young people who have, set, have accepted their call to ministry. We have uh, done our best to be a blessing in the area that we're responsible for and we are grateful for our young people who have been involved in uh, other activities. We're grateful that Courtney was a part of the dance team uh, and that there are others, uh, Malachi and, and is, is singing with the choir on this evening, as well as uh, Miguel uh, was elected. Not only was he the youth vice president that he was coming out of office, but he's been elected the young adult re representative from the 8th Episcopal District. So we've had a blessed week for our church and we're grateful to God for your assistance uh, in the fundraisers that helped some of them get here. So we're, we're blessed and we'll tell you all about it when we return. Dallas-Fort Worth Northwest Texas Annual Conference is July 24th through 27th. Please plan to attend and register. Call the office or go to the 8th Episcopal District webpage for information. The more we know, the more we grow. Uh, it's not just for delegates, uh, but it is for all of us who are interested in policies, poli polity, and what it takes to do what we do uh, as a church, as a region, uh, it makes a difference when we know more and when we're more involved. So please plan to attend. Worship on Sunday starts with church school. Please uh, join us at 930. All children are encouraged to attend classes with lessons designed just for them as part of our Reimagining Children's Worship Grant. We are asking all of you to come, parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles, guardians, friends of the family, bring the children to church school. I say bring them so that you can be there too. Don't just drop them off. The more that we pray together and learn together and uh, church school is one of those places that you do not outgrow. So if you will plan and change your mindset, especially as we're coming to the end of a conference year, make it an intentional plan to add church school into your life in the coming conference year. God bless you. Bible study will be on pause during July, uh, though prayer will continue after this week. The month of July will focus on corporate prayer as we prepare for a prayer focus in the next conference year. Please remember <clears throat> that the church that prays together and studies together experiences strength, healing, and great power to do God's will. I truly believe that. And when we come together as one, we will watch God change some things. Amen. We are lifting all who are grieving and mourning the loss of loved ones. We are praying for the Bowers Clark family and the loss of their brother, Paul, whose funeral services will be at Carter on Saturday at noon. We continue to pray for all who grieve the loss of loved ones. Please continue 
to check on those who are grieving. Love well. It really does matter. We are praying for healing of the body, mind, and spirit. Special prayers for Sister Cosetta Williams, T.A. Doctors T.A. and Nancy Sims, Sister Marie Webb, Brother Roosevelt G. and Sister Hazel G., Sister Joyce Crowder, Brother Mark Brown, Sister Yvonne Barron. Those in treatment or still in that fight, uh, Sister Joanna Roberts and Sister Rhonda London. All who are recovering and convalescing, Sister Kathy Harris, Sister Patsy Rose, Brother Paul Johnson and the Johnson family, my aunt Dorothy Chimney, Sister Delora K. Evans, Brother Virgil and Sister Evelyn Palmer's grandson, Sister Deborah Sanders, Sister Alexis Howard, Reverend Elsie Manning and her mother, Brother Artis Barrett, Brother Eugene Clark, Zimmery Pettiford, Dr. Ballinger, Sister Melvie Clark, Sister Curry, Sister Newton, Sister Jackson, Sister Johnson, Sister Simon, Sister Glenn, Sister Hobb, and all who are convalescing, those are ill, those who are recovering, praise God for recovering, for there is a bomb in Gilead. Our midweek word today comes from 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, starting at the 7th verse. Excuse me. <clears throat> God's strength in our weakness. It reads, so keep me from be to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations. A thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast at the more, more gladly of my weakness so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with the weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, I am strong. Wow. One of my favorite texts because it reminds us that no matter what we are contending with in the flesh, that God is able to keep us because in our weakest hour is when we tend to depend on God the most. Now, we should do it all the time. But you and I both know that it's when we're in our weakest times, when we're struggling when we're trying to figure out what to do, that we lean in on God. For when we're weak, we can trust God to be strong. That's why what a fellowship is not about us. What a fellowship, the hymn, is about that relationship with God. That leaning, leaning safe and secure from all alarm. Leaning on the everlasting arms for when we're weak, we know that we have the strong arm of God to lean on. So yes, we're going to have weaknesses in our lives. We're going to have flaws in our character, flaws in our living. We cannot be absolutely sin free. And there will be times when the struggle, struggle is harder than other times. But we are not to give up hope. We're not to get sidetracked. We're not to think that somehow we can't call on God because we're struggling with this or that. What we have to know is that in our greatest weakness is when the strength of the Lord is illuminated. It is magnified because we know that come what may, we can lean and rest, rest in the arms of the Lord. So my word for you today is simply this. Don't get sidetracked by your weaknesses. 
weaknesses come. Uh, that sin man and that spirit man fight all the time. And there are going to be times when that flesh will win. But don't be discouraged. Don't be put off. Don't allow the enemy to, to disturb your peace or to distract you from your faith walk. Lean in on God whose strength is made perfect when we're weak because then we're not pulling at it. We're allowing, we're letting go and letting God and recognizing that no matter what we have done, no matter who we are, no matter what circumstances we find ourselves in, grace is sufficient. Grace is sufficient. It does not mean that we are to live with cheap grace, but it does mean that in those times when we are weak, God is strong and grace will keep us. May God bless and keep you is my prayer. I pray that helps someone on today. Share that word with someone you know is going through. Make sure they know that 2 Corinthians 12 clearly lets them know that yes, they're going to go through some things and yes, we're going to fall off and yes, we're going to make mistakes. And sometimes it's habitual. Sometimes it's so that we stay humble. And when we do, we can recognize always that God's strength is greater than our weaknesses and grace is sufficient. We'll see you soon. Hope to see you this weekend for communion and for our fellowship with one another. May God bless you is my prayer.